Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another exciting video. Yeah, today's video is all about foam booster with a high foaming effect. This foam booster can be used in making your bath soaps, activating your shower gels, shampoos, liquid soap, and every other cleaning product. The recipe for this foam booster is the bomb. I made this particular recipe in my foam booster previously i posted in my channel and i got so so many positive reviews from this foam booster that is why i am bringing it up here for you guys to still know that this foam booster is the bomb try this foam booster make it to activate all your cleaning products and thank me later <music> Okay guys, here are the ingredients for this foam booster. This is caustic soda. The second one is sulfonic acid. We need the caustic soda to activate the sulfonic acid to be able to work well in this foam booster. The third one is texapon. We are going to be using texapon to pair with the sulfonic acid to be able to give a very high foaming effect in this foam booster. So guys, these are the three ingredients will be using to make this high quality foam booster let's get into the process of making right away the first thing to do is to get a bowl or a cup whatever you want to use to dissolve your product get water what i have here is 500 ml of water i'm going to pour into this cup after pouring i'll get the first ingredient which is a caustic soda and pour into this water and dissolve it stir very well and keep aside before you work with some of these chemicals you have to do your protective measures by wearing in your hand gloves your nose mask because come on some of them are very corrosive especially this particular caustic soda is very corrosive you cannot touch it with your bare hands the next thing to do is to get another bowl get the sulfonic acid and pour into this bowl after pouring you get the text upon and add into the sulfonic acid then stir both of them together for like 20 minutes you have to take your time to stir these two ingredients so that they can be able to incorporate very well and give you a quality foam booster okay besties if you're here for the first time this is clara's corner and in this channel we we'll make diy of different products please do well to check out the channel and turn on your notification bell for other beneficial videos and don't also forget to send in your comments or if you need a private training on any of the products posted on this channel you can send in your comments i'm going to reply you then we can kick off from there thank you okay guys back to business if you're done mixing this mixture for like 20 minutes the next thing to do is to get the caustic soda you can see this one is totally clear that was dissolved first you can get it and start adding into this mixture gradually until you finish adding all the mixture yeah you keep adding gradually stir in and pour all the mixture of the caustic soda into the sulfonic acid and the texapon guys before we proceed i would like to let you know that making a good quality product of any kind either bath soap liquid soap shampoo whatever thing you're making to get a good quality is based on the quality of chemicals you use in making that product if you get a less quality chemical you're not going to get a good quality of whatever thing you're making so i'll advise you 
make your inquiries to no shops, chemical shops that sell good quality of chemicals. Like in my area, I have a very good number of shops that sells um, less quality chemicals. And when you buy from them, use their chemicals to make your products, is going to give you a very bad result. So I advise you to make your inquiries to know the right shop to go to buy your chemicals so that at the end of the day, you get a good quality of products. So guys, let's proceed. I'm adding another 250 ml of water into this mixture. After adding the caustic soda mixture, I'm here adding another 250 ml of water into this mixture because it's still thick i have to add in water as i mix i watch and mix watch and mix if you get to the consistency that it needs to be i will stop adding water at this point i added another 250 ml of water and mix it in and at, at, at the end of the day it has total everything has totally dissolved and turned into a mixture like pap pap mixture yeah this is the texture the consistency it is now so uh this point this mixture is still hot because the caustic soda is was in its hot temperature it wasn't cool it was still hot so this mixture is still hot that is why it's looking so liquid if you allow it to stay for like five to ten minutes it's going to thicken up and at that point you just have to add another water into it so i'm going to leave it to stay for like 10 minutes before i continue mixing because i want to get the right consistency of the mixture so if i leave it to get cool it's going to thicken up and when it thick up thicken up i'm going to add another water that is when i will know the right consistency that the end result will come out with so guys let's continue guys after the mixture has cooled down to a room temperature it's ticking up and I'm here adding another water into it to loosen up the thickness so that it will be at the right consistency it's supposed to be. So I just added water, another 500 ml of water into this mixture. I'm stirring in to mix in well. Then after mixing, I'm going to leave this mixture, keep it, cover it up and leave it for some time. I'm going to list the ingredients and the quantity on the description area of this video. So do well to check the description area to get all the quantity of water and other chemicals I use in making this foam booster. So do not bother, do not fret, you're going to get all the correct measurements and the ingredients right in the description area. guys the consistency is okay for me at this point i'm going to leave it at this consistency and keep it to stay for like eight to ten hours by eight to ten hours it's going to completely clear off and become the foam booster we are all waiting for so this consistency is good for me I'm going to stop adding water and leave it here. The whole water I use in making this foam booster is 2 liters of water. This is 2 liters of water. That is what I use. The whole water I use. So I'm going to keep it, cover it for 8 to 10 hours for it to clear off and become the foam booster we are all waiting for. guys after eight hours here is our 
beautiful foam booster. You can see the texture. So, so lush. It's so beautiful. The consistency, the texture, everything is so good. This foam booster is a perfect, I would say it's a perfect foam booster. This foam booster can compete with the foam booster in the market. You can, you can even say this is the foam booster they sell to people for their soaps and everything they want to use it for. This is the quality of foam booster they sell to you and the high cost rate they give it to you. The amount of money used in making these two liters of foam booster can buy only 500. That's what you can use to buy like 500 mil of some foam booster in the market in the chemical shop. So you can see that it's easier for you to maximize your profit if you're using it for a commercial purpose. You maximize your profit by making your own booster, your own foam booster to activate your bath soap, your liquid soap, your shower gel, your shampoo, your cleaning products. Use this foam booster to activate it. So guys, here is our foam quality foam booster. Thank you guys for watching. And do not forget to subscribe if you have not. Turn on your notification bell to get to be notified anytime I post another video. And make sure to like this video. Share this video to whoever may be needing it. And do not also forget to share your review and comment with me in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye guys.